Hey guys, welcome to the Tech tutorial and in this chapter 11 of Angular 8 unit testing with Jasmine and Perma, we are going to look at asynchronous testing part 1. Now I have divided the asynchronous testing into two video tutorials and in the part 1, we are going to understand issues with asynchronous testing, how to use the Jasmine done callback and how to use async when stable. Now, in order to understand the asynchronous testing, I have prepared a simple example. In this simple example, I have a product list which will give us a list of products and I have prepared a search functionality that will help us to search the products by their name. So, if I want to search the eggs, I'm going to enter here egg and click on search, it will give me all the products whose name either start with egg or contain the egg. Similar way, if I enter fresh here, it will help me to find the products which have either fresh in their name or start with the fresh. So, this simple functionality is created on basis of an asynchronous code. Now, let's understand what this code is. This is our product list component dot HTML file here. I have written the code that will help us to display the product list. It will have an input text which will help me to take an input that will help us to search the product list and a button then clicked will help us to filter the product list. And this unordered list will help us to print the unordered list. Now here I have used the bootstrap classes. So you can see a lot of bootstrap classes btm, begin primary or form control. And I have used ng4 to print the product list here. The ID for the li element is given as product underscore plus the index. So the ID for the first item will be product underscore zero. The next will be product underscore one and so on. And it will print us the product title and product price. And we have a button when clicked will help us to filter out the product list. Now here I have created a method filter product list. Now this method is written in product list component. So this is our product list component of ps and in this one in ng on init I am getting the product list. So this will be an observable which will help us to get the data and then there is a filter product list. The filter product list will first get the search text. Now this search text is a property of our product list component and it is assigned to the ng model of our input box that will help us to capture the string entered by the user. Once the text entered by the user is captured, it is passed to a service. Now, I have created a product service which has two methods. First is the get product list. Now, get product list will get me the list of all the products and from where I am getting the list of products. So, here I have created a product list constant. So, I am not directly going to the backend. I have just created some dummy data here in order to demonstrate the asynchronous testing and I have used RxJS of operator to return an observable that will in turn help me to display the data on the UI that is the HTML and filter product list is one of our important method which captures a search string entered by the user in the input. Now this search string will be useful for filtering the product list and getting us the list of product based on the search string. So here I am using the product list. I have filtered it based on the title and the search string and by using the off operator of the rxjs i am returning a promise now when this method returns the output it will return only those products which match the search string now here is a part where i want to test my functionality that is the filter product functionality based on the user input so for that i have already created a product list component dot spec dot 
TS. And this is a standard spec file that has a describe. Then I have declared certain variables that will help me to test our product list functionality. So first component is created, fixture is created, then debug element is created, and the product service is also created. And test bed configuration is present here, which declares the product list component, imports forms module. Since we are using the ng model, we have to include the forms module here. If you do not include the forms module, it will give an error. And I have also provided the product service. Then in another before each, I have created the fixture, created the object for for the service, created the object or get the instance of the component and created a debug element or created the instance of a debug element. Then I have written a simple test that will check whether my product service has been created. And if you notice. I have written FIT here. So F before the it test spec means that it is a focus test and only these test cases will be executed. Now moving on to our important and main test case is this one. So here should test filter product list. Now in this case, what I am trying to do is whenever the user enters a search string, based on that, it should return to the list of filtered products. Now here I have set the product component dot search text to fresh and I have also created a spy object of product service and I want to spy on filter product list. Now here you can see I have added dot and call through. So when I am creating a spy on object it will actually spy on this filter product list. But there are cases when I actually want to execute the original method instead of spying on it or calling it to a mock object. In that case, spy on functionality or the Jasmine spies provide to us a call through. This will help us to directly call the original method. So when I am writing call through here, this call through will directly call the pro filter product list method that is present in the product service. After that, I am going to call the component dot filter product and on the UI we are passing on the event instead here I have just passed a empty object. Then fixture dot detect changes and then I have taken the value of first li element. So that means when the user enters fresh sweet fresh strawberry will be our first li element. So what we are doing here I am by using the debug element we are going to query by CSS, I am going to query by the ID product underscore zero. So we are going to check the inner text of the first li element and then we are going to check whether the first product that is filtered out from the product list is having the search text. That means whatever the first product is there, it will have the search text present within it. Now, once our test cases are written, I am going to execute ng test. Now, in this case, I have already executed the ng test and the output is ready here. Now, you can see there are three specs and one has failed. So, I have already created three different specs for execution and demonstration. Out of that, one test case has failed, and which is the should test filter product less. And here you can see it is expecting brown eggs 20.1 to contain fresh which is not the case when we filter uh, the product list using the fresh keyword it should return all the products that contain the keyword fresh which is not happening here and why this is happening this is because when the component dot filter product calls the service product it internally tries to return a promise and it also tries to resolve that promise and our test spec is not going to wait for this promise to be resolved. Hence, what happens is that once the component.filter product calls the service.filter product, it goes ahead and calls the expect method. And when we are in the expect, it is actually comparing the unfiltered product with the keyword that is entered. And this is happening before the service.filter product 
returns the result promise and due to this our test fails now in order to resolve this situation jasmine and angular has provided us multiple ways first way is the done callback provided by jasmine the done callback is a built in feature provided to handle the asynchronous code by jasmine and this done callback can be passed to before each after each or it test methods and the done callback is responsible for chaining the promises handling the error and calling the done method at appropriate moment the test specs are completed after the invocation of the done callback and this is its primary feature that means in simple words the done callback will help us to execute our expectation only after the promises are resolved now let's go and write the code for the done callback now, now coming back to our test method we have always written a test method in a simple format where first parameter is the description and the second one is a method now we have never passed a parameter to this method before and in all our previous videos you can go and check that all these methods have no parameters now if i want to use the done callback i have to pass it as a method parameter why this is because jasmine requires instance and can be created by using by passing it as a parameter then then if we have to call the done callback only all the promises are resolved and that can be done using this spy which we had created earlier so i'm going to do a simple thing so what happens is that whenever our component calls the filter product list our spy spies on this particular method so i want to have a callback that will help us to look at the point where all the promises are resolved so in this case i'm going to write so here i'm going to check which was the most recent call that returns the value dot then callback this will help us to identify where to place the done callback in order to execute our expectation after the promises are resolved so yeah now in this case i just want to execute this code but only after the promises are resolved so in order to help us to resolve or identify the resolution of promises i'm going to call the done method here or the done callback we have to save this yes. once that is done let's go to back to our test that wait till output returns now here you can see once our ng test was executed should test filter product list got executed successfully this has executed successfully is because we have used the done callback now in this case what happens is that when the filter product list is called the filter product list from component will call the filter product list in service now here before moving on to the expect it first checks whether all the promises are resolved and that is done at this point using the done callback once the done callback is encountered the code waits and it will resolve the promises first and then execute our expectation this will help us to successfully test the asynchronous test code using the jasmine but when you are using the done callback a problem is that we have to identify the position where all the promises will be resolved now in order to solve this problem angular has provided one of its way is using async and stable well, angular provides us a async function that will help us put the asynchronous code in a specific test zone and with async and then stable help us to test our expectation once all the promises are resolved what async does is it puts our asynchronous code in a specific test zone and 
when seven helps us to test the promises by allowing us to wait until all the promises have been completed that is resolved and the fixture dot when stable returns a promise that resolves when javascript engines task queue becomes empty that is once all the promises are resolved it will start its execution now let's go and see our code now coming back to our code i'm going to first mark this as done so that we can later on distinguish between the done callback and a sync test spec now here is the test spec that i have created for testing the awesome now if you can notice i have put a x here so as to exclude this text from execution i'm going to remove it and save this one now you can see should test filter product list now i have included a sync before our test spec method begins now earlier when we were using the done we were directly passing it as a parameter now when we are using the async we are going to include our test spec method within the async test zone and in simple words it wraps the asynchronous code into a single test zone then the rest of the code is similar to what we had when we are using the turn callback now here i have added the search text to fresh then created a product spy and called the component dot filter product list now unlike the previous code we used for done we have not used the product spy to to get the resolution point for the promise instead we have used fixture dot when stable dot then so the fixture dot when stable will help us to execute the code only when all the promises are resolved now once the once all the promises are resolved it is going to detect the changes then using the debug element we are going to query and find the first element that is the first li element within the list and get it inner text and check whether the value or the inner text of the first li element matches or it contains the source text provided in the input box then once this is saved i'm going to put an f here so that only these two test cases so the test case for done and test case for passing get executed let's get here now here you can see we have another test case successfully executed that is should test filter product list now here i have specifically marked the test case return for passing using passing and when stable so this is how we can use the done callback and async when stable in order to test the asynchronous code provided in our web application i hope you have understood this video if you have any comments or queries please put them in the comment section thank you and do subscribe